Hello, my lovely people. Welcome again to Channel 48 on this sunny winter's day here in my city. And uh, yeah, I'm here with my Samsung Galaxy S9. And you know, uh, we never really had a good Lineage OS yet for this phone, Lineage OS 19, Android 12. And uh, I discovered the site from NDN. So I want to give a big up and a thumbs up to NDN. Shout out there to you. Uh, special uh, because he is as well uh, creating GSIs, I think with PH Usen, eh? because the PH Usen settings are in, in, in his builds. Meaning that his builds will work, for instance, on the Exynos models from the Samsung S9. As I showed, because the PH Usen builds that we can get uh, at the PH Usen website, they boot and work as the best on the S9. No random reboots or crazy things. <laughs> the phone, the just phone went to sleep. I was like, hey, random reboot. No, 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 nothing like that, peeps. Uh, so I'm kind of happy to bring you today Lineage OS 19 Vanilla and the GAPS uh, uh, build. Uh, I mean, the build that comes with GAPS. Um, I'm going to show them both to you, so this might become a kind of long video, so take your time to watch it, okay? Um, yeah, so what can we do and say else, then let's get started and welcome again to Channel 48. My name is Puck and thank you for tuning in again. Welcome back. So, I'm here with the Lineage OS 19. GSI, ARM64, um, and we're gonna install it. We first gonna do a wipe. I had the L version from Android 12 running on this. That was uh, what I showed in the last video. The GSI that worked on uh, five of my uh, treble supported phones. Uh, so now I'm just gonna install um, the Lineage OS 19 as a system image and I'm not sure if this will work but this one as well has the pH uh, settings on board so let's first reboot without installing any kernel and see what's gonna happen this GSI is by the way by Andy Yan okay this looks good This is looking good. Waiting for a sign of the computer. Yes, this is this is this will work. This one will boot right now. Boot. We. Yes, it's booting. It's booting. Where's the boot animation? I saw something. There it is already. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's a little bit dark, but we can make it lighter. Hello, Lineage OS. Mm -hmm. Want to be pushed up, and there it is. There are the PH treble settings. And we can go to some Samsung features up here. Enable stereo audio mode, for instance. Um, double tap to wake. And set backlight scale max brightness level. I would set that minus three. Okay, so it's now set to. It will be like this, maybe a bit higher. Like a mobile is found. Okay, that is really amazing. Let's see if the camera works. Camera seems to work. Hey, that's a nice wallpaper. Oh, did you see that? Lovely. And is the selfie camera working? Yes, selfie camera works. And uh, we can delete that picture. Let's go back, back. Oh, camera. Set it to video. 
turn the camera. One, two, three, four, five, six. Puck in the house, you know how it goes. My brothers and sisters. Oh, hold on. This one here. This one. Okay, uh, the camera looks good to me, all right. And we can set a nice wallpaper, wallpaper and style. I just made a nice wallpaper, dark theme. And change wallpaper, this one I want. We just made that one. Okay. Lovely. Uh, you don't see these kinds of wallpapers, huh? <laughs> we just made it with the cover on the camera. You see, that's how you make nice wallpapers. Uh, but yeah, it all seems to work nice. Hey, wait a minute. We did not get no reboot. <laughs> we passed the, uh, the uptime already. Let me see where is it again uh, about emulated device uptime three minutes and 34 seconds so we don't need uh no no um yeah you don't need no nothing it works out of the box <clears throat> so um this build by andy Yan was released on let's see what kind of security patches we have you see this is ph uh, treble vanilla Android 12 version it's with the se December security patches, so no <laughs> nobody should complain. Okay, uh, the January 2022 security patches are not out yet. Uh, so yeah, this this is just beautiful. This is perfect. This is formidable. So let's take a look at the boot up once again, because we did not. We only saw tuck and then it was there. That was kind of crazy. I think this is uh, the screen stays the longest. Then and it takes a little bit before it will. It, it should have gone to the boot up. So I I think it's already booting up here. It's already booting the system and then it's going to show one little tip. Nothing. And there it is, phone is starting. So yeah, the Lineage uh, OS boot animation is uh, not really yeah, showing. But this is how it's going to boot and this is the minus three uh, that we set for the device. So it now knows the exact uh, brightness so you don't get into a dark phone um yeah this does not come with micro g let me see do we have micro g in here no there's no micro g so this is a vanilla build just the way how you would download it from lineage os if lineage os would uh, support uh, lineage os 19 for this phone okay but we can as well get the funnel uh, the gaps build and i'm gonna show that to you let's go to andy jan's uh, personal page his personal gsis and i'm gonna zoom in just a little bit it will look like crap apologies for that uh, up here you can you're gonna find um some gsis uh, starting with 19 uh, I mean 19, yeah, 19, 18, 17, and 16. So people that are looking for um, Lineage OS 16 GSIs, outdated, as you can see, these are not being updated anymore, unfortunately. Last one was released on the 19th. Um, yeah, can still get one here. Okay, so if, if your phone cannot go higher than, than 9 or 10, you can still find the GSI here, but there are enough ROMs as well, good ROMs. We as well have the Noble ROM with uh, uh, one UI 3.1, I think it is. 
you know, so yeah, then you can better go for Noble Rum. The 19 builds, up here you're gonna see, um, BVS image. BVS image means, uh, ARM64 BVS means ARM64, the B means that it's AB, uh, and uh, the V, that means that it's vanilla, okay, and the S, that means that, uh, what was it again, SSS, that it comes with PH user, super user uh, uh, settings, the PH, you know, so this is the build that you want if you, if you're going to install uh, this GSI, this is the build that you want with PH, if you're on the S9, okay, um, so there are uh, three builds that will work on this device, this one is uh, BV, S, so vanilla, S, and then V and D, Clite, and there you can see V and D Clite means uh, V and D Clite and read, read writable system, okay? And P, with the P, means that it has built with personal mods for reference. I never used the P yet. Um, and then we have the one with gaps. And that is this one here. And in fact, yeah, we can as well try to install this one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna download it really fast. I'm not gonna let you look at the download. Okay, the file is in. Let's uh, see how the MTP works. If we get a reboot. Ta -dum, ta -dum. Oh, lovely, lovely man. I love the yellow as well. It looks really good. I'm gonna paste this. Um, I as well tested um, Pixel Extended that was released this morning by Nippon, was not working, so I'm going to delete it. And I as well tested Octavi OS Raphael, as well as AB, ARM64 build. Oh yeah, I was copying, sorry for that, sorry for that. This thing cannot uh, multitask if it must uh, copy. Multitask copying is until now not supported on these amazing devices. Huh? What is that, guys? We have all these cores and this thing cannot even multitask copy. That's a new, a new, new word, huh? Multitask copying. It's not possible with phones. They're still too slow. Qua connection. And probably that's why Apple wants to. Although Apple. Apple. Apple always want their own port. So so it's always hard to, to charge the device or even make a connection with the device if you don't have the right cable or charger. Gewoon super belachelijk is dat, hè? of niet? <laughs> Oké, okay, so there we are. With the phone. We copied. Look at that. Convert videos to AVC. I don't, I don't even know what this is. Uh, videos will play on more media players, but quality may be reduced. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. C'est bon, c'est bon. I have codex for that. But still nice for offering it. Goodbye, vanilla build. Restart. Oh, the vanilla build is so nice. I love it so much. So NDN is uh, the man eh, that you want to visit for GSIs. I mean PH Houston in the first place, and then um, NDN because his GSIs will always work. The ones with PH, they will work. So now I'm gonna install something that I know that will work. And that's amazing, because normally we don't know these things. Uh, fail to mount system root, oh gosh. Wait, hold on, let me reboot back into recovery. Let's see, que pasa? This phone needs a good format data. Um, wipe, Dalvik, System, Cache and Data. 
No more red lines. This is good. Now we are ready to flash. Install GSI. And we're gonna go for Lineage OS ARM 64 BG. The G stands for Google. Remember? And the S stands for PH. We're gonna install it as a system image. I'm very happy with NDN. Because that means that, that, that more GSIs will come. And maybe not only Linux OS, maybe he will start creating others as well, because they were good. That's why nobody's bothering to make an Android 12 for, 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 for the S9, a port. Because we have all these GSIs these days that work so good. Well, you know. At least I don't get a message uh, from uh, from the Androids uh, build from Jan and from PH Usen that there's something wrong with the bloody phone. We don't get we don't get that message at boot at boot up, and that is amazing. There we go. Hey, this boot animation works beautiful, <laughs> and it's already there. The thing there we are. screen stays a little bit black but that is because we must still do the settings just pull down and put it to the brightest that you can or that is good for your eyes you see and we are up and running but now we have the google play store in including google uh, google uh, search you see that so this is again the same build um let me show that really fast. You see that PH Usen build and Leica Mobile Android 12, December security patches. Da, 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 da. You see that? C'est très, très joli, hein, madame et monsieur. Ça, c'est très, très belle. Ça, c'est formidable. Double. 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 We have a nice phone that will let you make phone calls. Dun, 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 dun. Very nice, beautiful. I love the red. Looks good, the red and white. But we can as well set this system to dark mode. Here we have some extra settings that we will find, such as, for instance, our location that is standard turned on. So yeah, if you did not connect to the internet yet, that is not a problem. Here you can as well add the dark theme. You see that? Um, camera access and mic access, they are all available. Okay, so that is nice. So we can, before, if we are concerned about our privacy, turn off the location. Uh, and block camera access and block uh, the microphone access. And we can set the dark theme on. Oh, look at, can you see that? My phone cannot even show the beautiful blue that is showing, look. You see that? Oh, 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 iPhone, shame on you, shame on you. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is go to the pH settings. Let's not forget about that. Get to Antoshast here. Samsung features. Enable stereo mode. Um, double tap to wake. Set the brightness level. And we're gonna set it minus three. Okay. All right. So let's pull a little bit there. Hey, VNC. This is good. Oh, look at that, that beautiful green, that dark green, beautiful. So, uh, camera, yeah, we don't have to look, it, 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 it works. You already know that it works. You saw it working in the in the vanilla build. If it works in the vanilla build, it as well works in, the, in this build, all right? Uh, we have Google, so you can connect to the Google Play Store and get your applications. Well, everything is there, guys. Uh, yeah, but uh, how about uh, system navigation? System navigation is as well available. You can find that on the gestures and uh, three system navigation and then boom, there you just had 
yourself a beautiful gesture at that that you must get used to it's a matter of holding it for a second like this you see so yeah um, I don't know what the S9 users want even more but I think they already have it now you know and uh, that with thanks to uh, Monsieur PH Usen and of course Mr. Jan yeah for creating this hey we have a wallpaper problem guys wallpaper keeps stopping Pourquoi, pourquoi, qu'est-ce que passé? On travaille pas, ok. That does not uh, function too good. Um, and probably because we have no gallery yet. You see that? So if you're gonna connect to, to the Google Play Store, you must do an update. Then Google will update whatever need to be updated and you can install whatever need to be installed such as a gallery because I think at this point you cannot even watch a picture oh where are my pictures I had pictures here uh, let's make a new picture let me unblock the camera unblock next just make it once again the same picture that we made in the first build and we test it again change wallpaper it's not going huh? probably because we need the wallpaper app I think okay let me change the wallpaper from here is this working this works so yeah you can change wallpapers man only for the yeah i don't know maybe now we can probably because we have no gallery installed that's why my photos you see wallpaper and style keeps stopping so I don't know what that is, but hey, you have enough wallpapers to choose from. Otherwise, get some wallpaper app or download the wallpaper that you Oh no, <laughs> that won't work. Uh, just get the wallpaper app or use the wallpapers that are built in. But it's not about wallpapers. It's about having a functional Android 12, including Google uh, built in for you. So you immediately can get started and start playing with Android 12 on your Samsung Galaxy. Uh, S9 and it was never that good before than now. So this is I think the very very best build uh, that you can install if you want to try Android 12 or of course the builds from PH and AOSP but if you want to go for Lineage OS this is the build that you need and don't search any further okay and if you want to be on uh, one ui um, i advise the noble rom as well a very good rom yeah by noble so big up to noble as well you know um but yeah this is it for the custom rom users if it's up to android 12. Tja. thank you mr shan and thank you again pierre ph Usen. Well, friends, that was it. Uh, yeah, I don't have to make this video any longer. This is an amazing Lineage OS 19 Android 12 that you can install on your Samsung Galaxy S9. Adventurous people might as well try it on the S10 Exynos models will as well work. Um, I think it will as well work on the 9 Plus and on the Note 9. But I cannot confirm that because I don't have these devices. But in the past, when I showed Android 12 for the S9, and I suggested that it would as well work on these two other devices, it actually did. Because I got some replies from people that did it, and yeah, they were so amazed that it worked, you know. But now, you guys can install this GSI without installing any kernel. 
everything is covered by PH Usen and by Andy Yan. So I want to thank uh, the development team uh, a million. Keep up the good work. I hope to see some other GSIs on the Andean website uh, very soon with PH Usen as well uh, built in. Um, and to the watchers, I say, and the testers, uh, good luck with testing this GSI. It might as well work on other devices, such as, for instance, the Redmi Note 4, maybe the Redmi Note 7, and then probably as well on the Redmi 7A. But I did not test that yet, and I'm not uh, planning to test that because I have another video coming up after this one. Uh, about the video editor that I had to review for a long time already. It was asked by uh, some uh, some lady, asked me if I could review that 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 uh, video editor. And in fact, I never did. I forgot all the time. I'm only busy with Android 12. So I hope uh, that you will as well check out that video. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, uh, hit the subscription button and as well set your notifications to on so you'll be updated whenever I upload a new video again. And then I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave this video a like if you love these videos that I'm creating about development going on that works on your device. Um, and of course, leave me a nice comment uh, and enjoy your day out there. Of course, stay safe. Yeah, don't, uh, you know what, you know, mask and this, don't, so, so, mm? so um, and then you'll be seeing me in the next video again. Until then, bye-bye and thank you for watching. Bye.